Good afternoon, Chip here with Hybrid and Electric Car Sales coming to you from my shop in beautiful Franklin, Tennessee. I want to share with you a big project we got going on in the shop today and we're going to take you along for that journey. We're recording this video for YouTube and what that is is that is a full battery pack replacement on this 2019 Tesla Model 3. This particular one is a long range dual motor and it has 160,000 miles on it. This customer actually used this car for Toro and it spent most of its life being supercharged and as a rental. So it took some extra abuse, um, but it did have premature battery failure. And this customer chose to take advantage of our BYOB service, which is bring your own battery. We will install a battery in your car that you supply to us, and we have a flat fee for that service. If you'd like to get some information on that, you can reach out to me directly, and I can go over the price quotes for you for a different car. But we have the battery out back. We're going to show it to you. We'll show you all the faults that are going on in this car so you know what to look out for, and we'll take you along for the whole swap. Uh, Tesla says this is about a five-hour procedure. Uh, it's going to take us a good 10 hours to do it. it you, we can't do it in five. Um, we do a little bit better job than uh, rushing along like that. But I'm sure someone who's done a lot of these can probably get it done in that time. But the video will be condensed down. It'll probably be about 45 minutes, and uh, you'll get the whole procedure start to finish. So stay with us. Okay, we're in the car now. We're in service mode, and as you can see, we're getting a bunch of alerts here. Unable to drive, battery coolant level too low. Uh, we got all sorts of problems going on here. Got a brick imbalance under voltage and you can see that the car is sitting at zero percent so uh, we're gonna go through this we're gonna get the battery replaced and you can see all these uh, alerts here it, the 12 volt battery was dead too when we got it so we had to jump it that way okay so we just went into the high voltage part and you can see here that it is literally saying high voltage battery requires replacement so uh, that's what we're gonna go ahead and do okay so here's an update we uh, were stripping out the interior and most parts of it uh, to replace this battery, you got to take out the back seat. You got to take out all of the trim up here in the front to get these. Uh, you can see those bolts there for the main pack. And then there's going to be a bunch of bolts back here that we got to take out underneath the carpet that we got to take out. And again, uh, this is all, this is the top of the battery right here, as you can see. And I'll take you outside and I'll show you the replacement pack that we got for it. All right. And here is the battery that got shipped into us. As you can see, this is the top part that I was just showing you that is under the back seat. Uh, this is the part that's underneath the car. We do have to clean this up and you can barely see the part number down here. If you look in there closely, can't really see it, but um, this is an all wheel drive model three uh, early. This is this packs uh, supposedly from a 2018 model uh, with low miles. And we'll go, we're going to go ahead and put this up in here, but this uh, comes to us in these crates. So we decreate it. We got a forklift. We'll take the, we'll take it inside to the shop and uh, we'll get it installed. All right. So now we're disconnecting the 12 volt output of the high voltage battery and we're disconnecting the high voltage switch. And that's going to be it for the top side of getting this battery out. Um, we'll now put the car up into the air and lower the battery out. As you can see, we already got it supported. We got these special feet that you got to put on here to lift the car on the outer rocker. We're not using the normal pucks. These take um, a special lift pad that we have to have when we use all the Tesla stuff. So uh, Austin's just finishing up all of this here and then we'll be putting the car up in the air. All right, car is up in the air. We are starting to remove the high voltage harnesses. We're about to start draining the coolant out of it. And we discovered something. Uh, this is the, uh, the part tag. I pulled this off so you could see it. Um, but look at that down at the bottom there. Hold on, let me zoom in, okay? Assembly, hybrid battery. High voltage battery, 75 kilowatt, all wheel drive, Kelvin. I don't know what that means. One PH, model three, and then RMN. This is a reman battery. This pack has been replaced before. It was most likely replaced under warranty. One of the other things that we found was this bolt was loose already. And then we looked a little bit closer and we could see that these bolts had been removed before. And there was some labeling, uh, number labeling on these connectors as someone had taken it apart previously. So uh, this looks like a failure of a remanufactured pack. I don't know when this pack was put in. Um, I'll have to do some more research, but uh, that's a failure of a remanufactured pack. Now the pack that we're putting in, this is the pack I showed you outside. We brought it in the shop here. This is a, a not, this is an original pack. This was out of a total loss. So we're gonna, we're gonna swap them around. So stay tuned, but that's just some new information that, uh, that came available, uh, pretty interesting. All right, we're about to drop the battery. All the coolant lines have been disconnected, all the high voltage. The center ski has been taken out, which is the high voltage cable running in front of the back. As you can see, we have our battery table lined up here. 
And uh, we're gonna be lowering it out here. We gotta take out all of these bolts here on the side. We've already prepared the shear plates in the back. So this is it, here it comes. The battery is out, here it is. Just dropped it out of the car. As you can see, there's the interior. Uh, we've already pushed it away a little bit. You can see these coolant lines. These run from the front to the back. And uh, coming around the front of the pack here, you can see all those coolant line hookups. And then another coolant line that runs down the side. So we got some parts to swap over to the other pack, but uh, we're going to wait until tomorrow to get that other one put back up. And uh, we'll get this job all finished up. All right, here's the battery. We got it out of the shop, putting it down outside for right now until we can get it moved around. All right, wrapping up here for the day, we're gonna cut this video into two parts. So this is gonna be part one and then we'll do part two for the reinstallation. But we have the replacement pack up here on the uh, battery table that we're about to push in. I wanna show you the part number on this replacement pack so you can see exactly which one we're putting in here. Uh, a couple of things that we discovered on the old pack, the old pack has been replaced before. Uh, I didn't know that, it was a reman pack in there. And that might explain why there was, uh, it looked like some other, some bolts. Uh, I won't say they were loose, but you could tell that they had had a tool on them before. And uh, we were just trying to figure that out. Um, but this is a fresh pack out of a total loss. And this is going to be going in. So we will uh, pick this up tomorrow with the reinstallation and a new video part two of the installation of this battery. How to get the battery working and uh, how the car pulls out of here. So stay with us, check out part two. If you need to have this service done to your Tesla, reach out to me, 615-802-5550. Come see me in person at 616 Bradley Court in beautiful Franklin, Tennessee, or reach us out online at hybridandelectriccarsales.com. I hope you had a great time staying with us through this uh, removal of the battery and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.